Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I'm going to meet up with my friend Tom, and we're going to do some electric vehicle salvage. So what this is, is it's a van that was converted to electric by uh, local engineering students a number of years back, and it ended up at a salvage yard. We got the hot tip that it was here, and we're going to go do some salvage. Okay, so we are inside, and we're going to start salvaging this thing out, and uh, here's Tom. Say hi to everybody, Tom. Hi, everybody. Okay, so inside the car here, uh, clearly here's our motor controller. Seen some other neat things too up on the dashboard. Here's our uh, controls uh, for the controller, turning it on, off, reverse, uh, some controls for the regenerative brakes. Um, under the, the Azure Dynamics motor controller, we're seeing the actual motor itself. Um, seeing some of that orange split loom for our high power connections hooking everything up, and then we've got some auxiliary equipment, a lot of just small wires. Uh, we'll probably just chop all the little wires, just snip, 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 and then all those big, big connections, we'll probably unscrew them and actually properly unbolt them to make them easy to reuse without chopping off good lugs or anything. And already Tom's out there, <laughs> he's, he's taking the hood off and we're gonna start ripping things out. What you doing there, Tom? Pulling out the junction box where the batteries and all of the other auxiliaries fed off of. So that was all the weird custom stuff you got to do for building a custom vehicle, huh? All the uh, air conditioner connections and power pumps and all the little stuff. Uh, so the, the batteries probably came in here and then the controller went out and then everything else was just small taps. Some nice heavy gauge cable. Panel. Two watts. We will want the connector. So there's that. That's the motor connection. Okay, so that's got multiple. I'm guessing it is. It looks like I a think so. cable. Okay, so, so we'll want to find and disconnect the here. other end of that. That's what I'm wondering. Is, is there a. There's plenty that's... of it. Can you pull that towards you, Ben? Okay, I was just under the van and I snipped all the zip ties for the uh, battery cables. So this is all something heavy. Yeah, it's like two watt, something like that. Uh, one watt, one watt welding cable. Some uh, big Anderson disconnects on the end. And there's the potentiometer. Potentiometer. Um, I'm used to working with uh, five kilo ohm potentiometers. This looks like. Something pretty stock. Yep, standard pop box. And Tom's going under to. Tom, check out that drive shaft, that uh, split part back there. So underneath, we got a couple of bolts that go right up and hold that motor, and we're gonna have to get those bolts out. Yeah, I think I can get a wrench on the back side of that. Try cranking one of the bottom ones, see if it breaks loose. You might be able to hold the top with your fingers. Ho oh, ho, look at that. Pull that baby out. That's one. So at this point, Tom claims to have the motor unbolted. Yeah, I'm making all my problems. So again, there's the motor. It's kind of like in a, your typical van that has that hump in the front where the transmission would be. That's the location of the motor in this vehicle. So coming off the, go from that motor so this bit, is where the transmission used to mount. A little bit of a shaft. So there's a, what do you call that, Tom? A pillow block or a pillow bearing? Yeah, pillow block. So. Or a pillow bearing. This, you got this pillow block or pillow bearing, and then there's a little tiny stub going to a U-joint, going to the drive shaft, and that, of course, goes to the differential and the rear, rear wheels. So, Tom, do you think right, right back, uh, what, right there we can split it? I think back here. these two slide together. This one slides inside this. Okay. This is going to match what was on the tail shaft of the transmission. Right. Although it, it doesn't look like the actual originals. It looks like somebody else built something to do that. But I'm guessing these okay. two slide together. That yeah. way when your rear end goes up and down, the drive shaft can get longer and shorter. Oh, oh bolt's still in there. Okay. So that's about all the further we can go. Okay. So and we need more sliding. We'll so what? Probably have disconnect to unbolt, the differential. Unbolt yeah, it. unbolt at the differential. Take the whole drive shaft out, and then we should have the rest of this clear. Okay. 
mean, one nice thing about working on a van is we don't even have this jacked up and we can get underneath it. So I like that, that part. Motor up. Well, do we want to stick a jack under there and go into chop chop mode? Probably have to. I can't see another way to do it. Okay. Well, let's do that then. So this is that control for our inverter. And boy, was this a pain to get out. I finally had to reach in there and do some cutting. Okay, so we got one of those. Whoa! Okay. Motor's out. Okay. I guess I expressed my concern about that. You okay there? Yeah, I was trying to pull the uh, cable over okay. and roll the whole motor instead. Jeez. Okay, safety second. Huh. Get the whole fun out of it. Well, that got it down the fast way. Yep. Unfortunately, it's not really out, but. Okay. Well, that slid quite a bit on that, that component up yep. there. Pulled out most of the way. Alright. Okay, well that's, that's, that's that off. Now we gotta get the motor going forward. Okay. Okay, well we succeeded in not actually dropping the motor on ourselves. Van up. Uh, we could do that too. I think if we just spin the motor a little bit, though, it might come out. If we kind of push the motor. Push it towards me. That direction. <sighs> okay, and the uh, we're still connected with that right, we get main cable, cable though. Through. Oh, which means we just need to put the motor controller out and through from the bottom then. Yep, that's my plan. Okay. So, oh, because we still got more wires we're hooked through. Well, those can just get cut though, right? Right, I don't have a cutter here though. Um, okay, here's a cutter. Uh, we're cutting unimportant wires now, right? Hopefully. Yeah. If there's a bunch of sparks, let me know. I actually did see in the back the uh, steel used for the original battery holder frame. Yep, yep, they threw all the frames in. But they no. kept all the batteries in the charger, the rotten bastards. Appears to be most of it. Okay. Oh, this doesn't weigh nearly as much as a motor does. Okay. So we have it. AC drive motor and uh, the inverter and the power and the wires and a little stubby drive shaft coming off of it. Didn't have to disconnect the differential. That was kind of nice. Did not, did not kill Tom by dropping the electric motor on him. Always good. So inside here we would expect three wires for three phase power inside this cable, inside this box. Ta-da! Oh, really simple. Two big terminals coming in, three big terminals going out. ABC, negative and positive. Huh. Not, not a whole lot of anything wacky there. Nope. So, for example, if we wanted to make this cable shorter, unbolt these, disconnect that, pull it back, trim it, but no reason to mess with anything like that right now. But new. Cool Not to, to know see. What we're putting it in. Nice. Interesting that none of them are labeled in there. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So we'll, we'll get a still photograph close up of that making model number and everything. Here we have no idea if this will work or not, but uh, 
we want that end piece from the drive shaft and Tom thought maybe we could uh, use the vise to drive the pin out of the U-joint. We'll see, but it's this end connector that matches up with that uh, tail shaft coming out of the electric motor, so we definitely want this end piece off of here. So maybe to start here, we'll start. And it looks like we can smack the uh, pin out of that U-joint. Yep. Clunk, clunk. The other cup's loose, but you have to drag it all the way the other way to get it out of the hang. So we're disconnecting this U-joint here. So we've got that end of the piece. Show us what you got there, Tom. So what we've got is that will fit on the shaft of the motor and adapt to a U-joint that could be connected to any drive shaft to put it into any other car we want to put it into. Probably a rear rear wheel drive car since it's a drive shaft. Um, yeah, I still think that using a, uh, a transfer case, a four wheel drive transfer case, might let us do gas and electric, kind of a cheat. Build a hybrid. Yep. Match Ben's fantasy. <laughs> so anyways, there's our haul from Electric Vehicle Salvage.